What's up BJJ fans? And of course the BJJ stands for Blind Judo Journey. As many of you will know, I am one of the judo coaches at the Oxford Judo Club for Oxford University and for the CT as well. And I have just been nominated for an award for Student Coach of the Year at Oxford University. There are three people who are in the top three, obviously. Uh, but out of 150 nominations, I'm so glad to all those who nominated me. Thank you so much. It's such an achievement to have even been nominated. But me and my friend Jessica are now going to go to the ball, and we're going to see if I won. So hopefully I will have. Just a bit about my coaching, for those who don't know. I coach Fridays and Saturdays every week. That's the open mat and the competitive session. And then I also coach some Sundays and some Tuesdays, which is just normal technical sessions. And every now and then I jump in on a Thursday. So yeah, it's, be, it's really nice to be spotlighted for my achievements and my effort I've put into the club this year. And let's go see if I've won an award. Hey, so I'm just walking to the ball with Jessica, um, one of the people I coach all the time. She's literally one of my best friends. I couldn't have done any of this without her. She was the person who first recommended that I start coaching. Um, do you remember that? First yeah. time? The coach was late, and Jessica was like, no, oh, you've always wanted to coach. I'm like, okay. So I did the most sensible, safest possible one up. The coach walks in and goes, what's happening? I was like, oh, you can take over, you can take over. And he goes, mm, you keep going. Um, well, I was just going to ask, how do you think, or how has my coaching been over the past year? I think it's improved, right? It's, yeah, it's improved. It's been pretty good, yeah. It wasn't very good at the start. As I said before, I sounded like a 16 Yeah, you were very quiet. <laughs> I was really quiet. I'm quite an extroverted person, and everyone said I was the quietest they'd ever seen me. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I just wanted to say thank you to Jessica on camera. So here we are in the Oxford Town Hall, we're just heading in. Stop being a YouTuber! <laughs> what? Stop being a YouTuber! I'm not! So this is the Oxford Town Hall, where we are having the ball. Uh, I think we're sat right by the stage, because they asked if I wanted to uh, be sat in the stage for when I accept my award. Well, they said if I accept my award, but like, confidence is key. These the student coach of the year are Augustine McMahon of Touch Rugby. So Augustine has played a huge part in the growth of touch rugby at Oxford, putting in the work on and off the pitch to build a positive club environment and secure competition success. He has run over 56 training sessions this season to push the team to gain their first class trophy. <laughs> and next we have Charlie Lamb of cheerleading. Two years of coaching the Sirens and Charlie's dedication to the club is unwavering. He has worked to create a culture of body positivity and has coached many members from beginner to national and international levels with Oxford being ranked in the top five in national competitions. Uh, and the final nominee tonight is Miles Solomon of Judo. Since losing their head coach, Miles has led the club with an infectious enthusiasm and skill that has led this season. Led the team to winning an extraordinary eight medals at Bucks compared to the one the previous year. As a visually impaired black belt judoka who leads by example, Mars is an inspiration for the club members in and out of the dojo. Congratulations to all of those shortlisted. Uh, and the final uh, winner of the Student Coach of the Year is Miles. God, I won. I can't believe that. I'm so incredibly proud. It's it's so amazing to be recognised for having put the amount of effort into the club and put the amount of work into the club. And after seeing the rewards, obviously seeing the rewards is a is a achievement in itself. But to be recognised by the university um, and by everyone at the ball and everyone in the Blues Committee and Sports Federation, it's, it, feels, it feels amazing. I mean, I, I want to say 
thank you to all of the coaches at Oxford Judo, to Chris, to Rachel, Sam, Greg. You like, you know, you guys are amazing. You make Oxford Judo what it is, and I model myself around being almost as good as you guys. Uh, thank you to Dermot Heslop for letting me do every single coaching course as quickly as possible, still putting up with me. Thank you so much, mate. Thank you to everyone who turned up to every single session. I mean, you can't be a good coach if you don't have any students. And the people who turned up to every single session, that being, you know, Izzy, Jay, Jessica, Philip, Amalia, Richard, Tom, all of these guys turning up wanting to learn, wanting to improve. These guys are great, man. Like, I love these guys. And the award itself is, it's as much theirs as it is mine. So thank you. I love Oxford Judo. And I want to make it the best possible thing it can be. As they said in my, like my speech, you know, we went from having two medals. It was actually two medals. It wasn't one. But we went from two medals and like nine medals. The Bucks. We won Varsity. We won the B team. We won the women's B team. And that's obviously not all down to me. There are so many other people in the club. But thank you so much for even being allowing me to be part of that. Cheers, guys. Aromatic.